Alright y'all, today is a pretty special day because the crappies are coming in. They're coming in. Just to keep it by, this is I think the funnest time of year to catch crappie when they start moving up because they just dump it so hard and it's it's short cast, it's shallow, it's like bass fishing with a spinnerbait, it's so fun. So first of all, we gotta go find a spot that I think they're gonna move up in and it's similar to bass. It's gonna be up in pockets, you know, out of the wind and some sort of harder bottom that they can spawn on. Stumps, you know, stick ups, crappie are just an interesting spawner because they'll swarm all these males will just swarm around a female and they'll spawn and you can just keep making that same cast and just don't don't so much fun so we got a little wind to contend with with the crispy but i think we can get it done let's go find a spot Crappie search bait setup time. I'm gonna show you my full rig right here. First of all, let's start with the rod. The rod is our seven foot light in the micro series. This thing is a, it's a bendy one. It's a buggy whip. I've got, I've got a thousand size reel on here. I've got 15 pound braid. Light line for doing this. Light line. And then I'm gonna put uh, some eight pound leader on here. Some eight pound leader material. Gonna do probably five foot or so. Tie a little connection knot here. Doesn't have to be too crazy for crappie. Don't need to go full FG knot. Now we're gonna put a, a light jig head on here. Light because we're fishing shallow water and we wanna go slow for crappie. That's the biggest thing between uh, bass and crappie is just the, the speed is, is way different. They don't like to move very much. If you guys crappie fish a lot, I highly recommend this box right here. It's perfect for jig heads. We've got an assortment from quarter all the way down to uh, a sixteenth, some even one thirty second ounce. I'm going to go with the sixteenth ounce uh, underspin jig head. The reason is I'm just going to be straight retrieving this. I'm just going to go slow with it. And we're going to be putting on there what I think is the best crappie search bait ever. And that is the Snacky Swimmer. This right here. I actually prefer the, uh, the larger one most of the time. But we're gonna go. We're gonna go with the little one here today. This is uh, the smaller size, and I've caught. I've caught a ton of bass on these. You'd just be. Maybe you wouldn't be shocked because it seems like every pro bass fisherman is crappie fishing now with their little little deal they're throwing out there on live scope. It's pretty. It's pretty funny to us multi-species and crappie fishermen. <laughs> Been doing that for a while. But yes, bass will eat little little things, little minnows, just like crappie will. And it's funny, a lot of times when I'm hunting for crappie with these things, I end up catching bass. So, that is the full setup right there, guys. Love a good pink head and stained or muddy water. Now we just gotta, we gotta find their nest. We gotta find where they're hanging out. Little minnow imitator ready. Now let's hunt. So where where are we choosing to fish? You know, why am I in this little pocket? It's the same reason bass like to get in these little pockets. The north facing banks are good. They're usually more out of the wind. And crappie will, they'll spawn on like anything hard, a stump, a, a twig. You know, they'll spawn in the trees, they'll spawn like in the grass. So we've, we've got grass out here, which makes it uh, like a, that, that's hard. It's hard to see them on the electronics. And that's one reason that I'm wanting to throw this search bait. And this is kind of the old school way. 
crappie fishing, but once I get a bite on this, I'm going to know that there's more crappie in there most likely. Catching them on live scope out on deep structure, that is that is so much fun to me and I like I like trying to catch these big females and focusing on them, but man, you could just throw a little spinning jig like you would a spinnerbait down the bank for bass and then you're getting thumped. I mean, they thump it really hard and aggressive. It is so much fun. Oh, we got him. We got him, boys. There he is. Oh, it's a daggum largemouth. See, they just like these little things. Come here, you little rascal. They just love them. Here we go. Oh my gosh, is this another another one of these my gosh what are these things doing in here why are you getting in the way of my crappie pesky little rascals you just can't stay off that snacky it's like zen it's like the little sin of the water and they just it's a little tasty pouch they just got to put it in their lip Golly, God. One green one's looking for a little something to put in his lip. Oh, gosh, I'll tell you what. It's like, where are they when you're bass fishing and you throw one of these things on and you start crappie fishing and they just come unglued for it. Yeah, what do we got here? You out here trying to go on the stringer, son? You out here trying to go on the stringer? You know, I'll tell you what though, this is a really fun fight on this rod. Always is. Look at these little buck bass just coming in here. They're trying to spawn too, but you're getting in the way. You're getting in the way of my, my crappie spawner, buddy. Look at that, just nose pegged. Little buck bass. I cannot resist this little nugget, dude. Here we go. We're on. There we go. Crapeezies. Crapeezies. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. You're just a good one doing that spawn dealio. Fresh. Love to see it. I'm going to keep a couple of these. Oh, thank you, sir. I'll take another. I'll take another one of those. Oh, yeah. Boom. Smashed. Begging. Oh, yeah. Begging, son. Look at this monster out here catching good son. love to see it mm -hmm. it's just that time of year it's happening right now god oh, they smoke this thing so good mm-hmm Oh yeah. Mm. Ah. I'm gonna 
let him go. He's got something weird going on. Oh god, that's a good fish. Try a couple different bright colors in here. See some movement up here. There he is, right there by the boat. Literally saw that fish just come up off live scope. Oh my gosh, what a good one too. Nice. They are scooting. They are scooting around, boys. Here we go. I don't know what is attractive right here to these fish. It's, it wasn't the boat ramp. It's It could be like from the boat wash. It's cleared a little spot, but I just, I saw like three or four creatures just cruising through real quick. It's almost like they're, they're coming. They're coming to set up to spawn. Oh my gosh, hammered. she blows there she blows yes sir come here darling or sir that's gonna be a sir just a male sir put him on the stringer baby here we go Okay, we got our electric chicken a little torn up, so we're gonna switch up our color. I think it'll be good for these angry spawners as well. Just go give it to them. Oh god, one just had it right there. Right there. Followed it up. Mm, there he is. That one locked up on it. Oh, every time I make a little pass there, I get one. They're all good ones. Oh my gosh. Spanking them, man. The snacky spanking is taking place. We're almost done guys I mean maybe one more but that is about it that's about all we need don't want to take more than we need how y'all doing good hey uh do y'all want some fish yeah yeah we'll take them okay I already got a cooler full and I'll sell y'all putting them on a stringer so yeah Oh, that's cheaper and the line. Okay, I switched to this one. Oh, God. Oh, nice. Some crappie. Whoa! Daddy! Ooh, they always scream to me. Uh, I think crappie are the best. Okay. Baby, I'll do this one. Thank you. Yeah. Well, y'all, that is how I decided to end my day with giving away my crappie. That is uh, the first time I've ever done that. It's fishing the same area as his family was fishing and I was I was catching them pretty good. And that was the only stretch that I really found them, you know, with not being able to run around very much with the wind. So I milked it pretty good. I got, I think I ended up catching like seven or eight crappie and I kept five good ones. And I saw them catching bass and they were putting them on a stringer and I was just like, yeah, I'm gonna give them my crappie because 
everybody knows crappie are better than bass and they obliged and I knew they would. So this is what I caught them on guys. This, this is the snacky swimmer. This is the small size right here. Normally when they get really aggressive, I'm just throwing the bigger size because I get a little more distance on it. It's, it's a little heftier plastic, but just keep in mind, it will slow down your rate of fall. So that's another reason to fish that bigger one if you want it a little bit slower. But I mean, everything in the lake eats this. Crappie, bluegill, bass, white bass, you name it, catfish, they all eat this thing. And I definitely recommend getting some of these. Uh, GuggenSquad.com, use my promo code LFG and save at checkout. This is, I think, the funnest way to crappie fish. Got away from live scope and sitting, you know, over the electronics and everything, just going down the bank, using this search bait, finding them and just, I mean, they thump it so hard. It's so much fun, guys. So thank you for tuning in today and to all of our East Texas fishing videos for bass and crappie. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel for more outdoor action because spawn is just starting and we are, we are just getting warmed up. Smash that like button. I will see you guys on the next one.